Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. Today we have the Casio ProTrek Climber Line 100 meter solar atomic. And this is model number PRW-50Y-1BJF. Now this is not gonna be an in-depth review because I basically reviewed this exact same watch about two or three weeks ago when I reviewed the PRW-60T-7AJF and I'll put that up on the screen for you. Guys, this is the exact same watch it's just a smidge smaller. It's got all the same features and functions, the same basic look and layout to it. Uh, obviously this is not in titanium, but this is the exact same watch, just a little bit different colorway, and this is really meant for climbers. So all I'm gonna really do is just show you this watch. I had to have it. Uh, and I love that titanium one I reviewed a couple weeks ago, but I like this one even better. Let me show you what you get. Now, the guy I bought this from on eBay, he actually bought his in Japan. So it's got some interesting stuff inside here and I'll show you. Uh, here's your manual with the 5620 movement. You get this little piece of paper here. And I'm not quite sure. It looks like this is where you go to download the PDF version of the manual, it looks like. A little bit strange. And then, this was really interesting. Tourist warranty card. So I guess Cassia knows a lot of people go to Japan and when they do go to Japan, uh, they like to buy electronics and especially watches and stuff. So I guess this is the tourist warranty card. Uh, it says limited warranty for Casio wristwatch. So I guess this just explains, you know, kind of what your rights are uh, as far as the warranty and stuff goes when you buy a watch in Japan and you take it out of the country. So interesting, I've never seen that before. All right, put all this stuff away. And again, I'm just gonna show you the watch. Again, all the same features and functions, nothing has changed except for it's just a smidge smaller and obviously a different colorway, different dial, different hands. The hands are thinner. Man, I love this thing. I love that kind of cream tan dial. Again, the handset's a little bit thinner, um, but the basic layout is the same. I'll go ahead and cycle through the functions for you. There's your uh, regular time. And of course, you can also change what you see on the LCD display. Just click up here and you can get to see the, uh, the day and the date. Uh, that's your barometer or you can go back to uh, the LCD displaying with the analog hand say as well. Here you go. There's your barometer. And you can see the little hand up there at nine o'clock, the little sub dial moves to whatever function you've selected. And when you do that, I don't know if you just noticed that, let me go back real quick. The hands automatically move out of the way. Now we're back at time. Let's go to barometer again. You'll see the hands move out of the way automatically. There you go. Now we're going to temp. Recall, that's like for altitude records that you want to keep and barometer records that you want to keep. Here's your stopwatch. There's your timer, which you can set, I think, up to 99 minutes, I believe. There's your alarm, one of five. World time, which is set to, uh, looks like that's 8.30 in the morning over in Japan, because Japan is 13 hours ahead of us. And then, if you notice, in the LCD display, it shows you home time which right here is 727. Then go back to regular time. It's also gonna show you uh, the receive when it last received the atomic signal. There you go, which was 40 something this morning. Pretty cool. Now I've got it set to auto receive that signal. It'll try up to six times a day. The first time it successfully receives a signal, it'll cancel the other ones. Uh, and most of the time it gets it between like 12 and four o'clock in the morning. I love it. Never have to worry about this watch not having the correct time on it. Absolutely love that feature. And then you go back to time. You see where it said H? That means it's on a high battery charge. It'll say H or M. Uh, and it doesn't really take much to charge this watch to its full capacity, by the way. Again, all the same features and functions as that titanium Pro Trek I reviewed a couple weeks ago. It just looks different. You've got a dedicated uh, metal bezel right here. There's your sensor. There's your buttons. I wish they had put some metal pushers here. I like the knurling, but I wish they had done some metal pushers. But overall, I absolutely love this watch. Interesting thing on the case back, and I don't know if I've seen this on other Pro Treks, but the case back kind of extends to the lugs. So the case back turns into the lugs. See right there? And then it turns into your actual lugs. It's got those quick release spring bars. So if you want to slap a different strap on there, you can. Uh, you've got some laser etching, kind of faint, uh, on the back of the uh, the case, a little bit faint. I wish they had maybe filled that in with some paint or something, just so you can see what it says a little bit easier, but not a big deal. Nice screw down crown. You see the crown? It says lock on it. There you go. 
Shows you which direction to lock the crown. Super, super smooth crown, by the way. Pop it out and you just barely push it in and it starts screwing in. See if I can get it to do it here. There you go. And you don't have to do these very tight at all. Right there, you're done. Pretty cool, man. Um, strap, really supple, nice and smooth, and uh, it doesn't really irritate the skin. It feels great, it's light. Uh, it feels really nice on the skin. You've got a couple little holes over here, which I thought were interesting, that are filled in. Now, that's not a production error, that's just the style, because on the back side, it's not like they were meant to be punched out and they just didn't punch them out. They just, you know, that's just the way it's meant to be. So there you go, guys. And I'll go ahead and give you a wrist shot here and a loom shot. But that's basically it. I just wanted to show you the watch uh, and get your thoughts on it. This is now definitely my favorite new watch. I love this thing, man. Incredibly easy to read. I love that positive, super twisted pneumatic display, just like on the, uh, the titanium version I reviewed a couple weeks ago. Incredibly legible at all different angles. Love it, man. So let me go ahead and give you a wrist shot. And then we'll do a loom shot real quick. And then we'll wrap this thing up, man. There you go. Just a fantastic looking watch. So legible, man. So cool looking too. I like that, that new metal bezel. Really cool. So let's go ahead and kill the studio light, kill the monitor. All right. Now that, I have the, uh, the light to display automatically. You just see right there, it's just doing it by itself. <laughs> so you've got two LEDs. You've got one for the actual display. And then you've got a black light right there that illuminates the rest of the dial. See where it's illuminating the dial right there? And this is doing it automatically because I've got it to set. So when you tilt your wrist, it automatically comes on. Now the loom on the hands, because the hands are you know skinnier than the other models, is not a lot. But let me go ahead and zap it and I'll show you anyway. There you go. Not bad. So you definitely, you can definitely... Uh, see this at night very well. There we go. Love it. Anyway, guys, like I said, I just wanted to show you this one. This is the brand new one straight from Japan. Uh, the brand new, this is basically meant for climbers. Again, it's just a little tiny bit, a smidge smaller, uh, just a little bit different design, different colorway. Uh, and again, all the features and functions are absolutely the same with this watch. So if you want to get one of these, man, you know, try to find one. They're about uh, about four hundred dollars now, uh, and you can get that with shipping. I, I got again, I got mine off of eBay. So head on over to eBay, and you can get one for about three eighty to four hundred dollars. That's with uh, free shipping a lot of times. So uh, I know they're selling like hotcakes. Do hotcakes really sell that well? I guess they do. Anyway, <laughs> so if you like the Pro Trek series, you're definitely going to love this climber line, and they also have a black version. I'll go ahead and put that up on the left hand side of the screen for you. They also have a black version of this too. So check that one out. And if you get that, uh, you're going to get a great watch, man. They're both great watches. Also, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell. All of us YouTubers really appreciate it. And guys, thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.